response that I will be asking uh, for you to make in just a, a little bit. It is uh, Congregational Pledge Number 2, which is found on page 44. So if you will place your finger there and uh, be ready when the time comes, we will, I'll ask you to respond. So these people here need no introduction. <laughs> Willis and Sharon, Danny. And Ezra, you are a hey Danny, you're a blessing to to us and to to this church. And God has blessed you once again with uh, this this precious baby, this precious child. Who today we have the the great privilege of uh, baptizing. And so, brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without price. And so on behalf of the church, I present Ezra Martin Rosenfeld for baptism. And so, Sharon, Willis, grandparents, I would ask you to please respond to, to these questions. On behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? We do. And do you accept the freedom and the power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? And do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened people of all ages, nations, and races. And will you nurture this child in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself, to profess his faith openly, and to lead a Christian life? We will. And now, I have the... <laughs> the privilege of And I get to walk down the aisle, and I believe <laughs> while I'm doing that, we have a special treat from our, our children who are going to sing to Ezra as, uh, as we prepare to baptize him. So here we go. us of God's love that is indeed the center of all that we do and so now so what name is given to this child Ezra Martin Rosenfeld Ezra Martin Rosenfeld I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ezra, may God <laughs> pour out his Holy Spirit upon you and confirm you in the way that leads to life eternal. Amen. <laughs> responsibility for uh, maintaining the vows that uh, this family has just taken are not taken by them alone. It is also the responsibility and the, the wonderful privilege of the entire church family to uh, assist them and to help in providing means by which uh, Ezra and all of God's children will grow to accept God and trust in him in faith uh, as well. So now is your opportunity
to express your pledge to do just that. And so, members of the Household of Faith, I commend to your love and care Ezra Martin Rosenfeld, whom we this day recognize as a member of the family of God. Will you endeavor so to live that he may grow in the knowledge and the love of God through our Savior, Jesus Christ? With God's help, we will so order our lives after the example of Christ, that this child, surrounded by steadfast love, may be established in the faith and be confirmed and strengthened in the way that leads to life eternal. And now, Ezra, may God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless, preserve, and keep you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Will you join me in honoring Ezra?